are Hey Fight Cheer Squad, if you want the English translation. It's a rhythm music game developed by Innis and released in Japan in 2005. Owen Dan details the plight of several characters in hopeless situations who cry out for help. In response, the Owen Dan and all male cheer squad appear to help each character work through their problems by cheering on through music. Now, the origin of the Owen Dan is not explained in the game, but they're always nearby when help is needed. For example, Owen Dan! See? The Owen Dan appear wearing highly stylized black uniforms based on Gakuran Japanese school uniforms, with red armbands a common slight at Japanese school sporting events. Most of the scenarios are inspired by modern Japanese culture, or are heavily influenced by Japanese manga. For instance, the first stage features a high school student distracted from studying by his family, while the later stage focuses on a pottery master who has lost the inspiration. But the later stages take a light-hearted and comical twist to him, with the Owen Gan helping a racehorse capture a thief, Travelling back in time to help Cleopatra build a pyramid so she can lose weight, and finally help a pair of officers stop a robot alien invasion. What? Don't tell me you thought the scenarios in this game would be that simple, did you? You know, for a second there? Yeah, I kinda did. How did you. Never mind. Before I continue, there was two stages in Owen Down I'd like to talk about. The first one is a love story set to the song Over the Distance, which is told in a more heartfelt, subdued tone about a departed spirit returning to Earth to say to his wife, one last time, that he loves her. That, that was so beautiful! <laughs> now the other one is the final stage, which I must issue a spoiler warning for. That's newly installed. Still working out the books for it. Set to the song Ready Steady Go, the Owen Dan must cheer on not only, not only Japan, but the whole world in order to save the Earth from being destroyed by an asteroid. Hey, I've done it before plenty of times. But, though, that's a completely different story. <laughs> As you might have noticed, in each stage the story plays out on a top screen while the gameplay takes place on the touch screen. You must tap the beat markers in time with the music in order for the story to continue. There are three different type markers in total. Hit markers, numbered circles that must be tapped in sequence. Phrase markers, that require you to drag the stars across the track in time with the ball and occasionally back and forth. And spin markers, you must return the spinner quickly until the bars on the sides of the screen are filled. Depending on how precise your actions are, you will either be awarded 50, 100, or 300 points. Plus, continually hitting beats will increase your combo multiplier and the flames in the background. Miss a beat, the combo breaks, and the flames die out. There is a life bar that represents the character's fighting spirit that constantly drains over the course of the song. It can be refilled by hitting the indicated beat. The more precise you are, the more energy is restored. However, if you should miss a beat completely, the meter will deplete even further. If the life bar should empty, the stage will end, resulting in a failure for the character. To, f to further advance in the game, each stage must be completed successfully. Within each stage, there are two to four break points where you can take a rest while a scene from the story plays out on the top screen. If the life meter is at 50% filled and in yellow, the scene will depict a positive result, such as, in case of the poultry master, getting great inspiration for a new work. If the life meter is less than 50% and in the red, the resulting scene will depict the character encountering a setback, like the Pottery Master coming up with yet another crap creation. And uh, that's basically the gameplay of Owen Dan. There are 50 stages in total, each with their own scenario and music track. What's that? Replay value? Well, yes, there is some replay value in this. Well, apart from the gameplay being as sticking as cookies and milk, there are also unlockable difficulties where the lead squad member changes. Except in same mode, which changes the whole squad to female cheerleaders. Like I said before, Owen Dan was only released in Japan. Which is a shame. But don't worry. Because Innis have made an alternative for us. Elite Beat Agents was released in 2006, 2007 for people here in Europe, 
and features the same gameplay as Owen Gan, but with a western style. It had a few new features which was later added to the sequel. Translated as Burn Hot Blood Rhythm Soul, or Owen Dan 2 for short. Now I would go into detail about those two games, but here are my final thoughts for us, Takake, Owen Dan. Now I can't speak Japanese. This has got to be one of the best rhythm music games of all time. Easy to learn, but difficult to master gameplay, memorable Japanese music track, and a comical scenario that don't take themselves too seriously. I can't recommend it enough that you must import this game any way you can. I rate this game 9.1 out of 10.